If you market your product, your business, or your service on social media, there are some definite skills you need, and you need to be proficient in them. And that may sound a little intimidating, but I have some good news for you about skills. If you don't have the skills or the skill set needed, you can definitely learn them and definitely develop them. In this episode, I'm going to share with you three skills I feel are critical to your social media success. Are you ready to learn what they are? Well, I am ready to share them. Episode 207 starts right now. Hey there, welcome to The Laura Shipman Show. We hang out here weekly to talk about things like social media, entrepreneurship, marketing, tools, strategies, tips, and it all starts right now. Hey there, before we get started with this show, I just want to share my passion with you. I love teaching people just like you how to master social media for business, breaking it down into easy to consume and easy to execute steps so that you can see immediate results. So whether you want to start a social media consultancy or grow your brand's presence on social media, I can help. I can help you get started and master all the things that you need to know. So I want you to go over to my website. It is filled with resources, tools, tips, and courses. Visit laurashipman.com. That's L-O-R-A shipman.com to get all the goods. Now you ready for the show? I know I am. Let's get started. Well, hey there, friends. I'm so glad you are here. Now, it can sound intimidating to have to know some skills for social media, but it's the truth. But like I said at the beginning, skills are easily developed and learned. And today I want to give you three, only three that I think are critical, that if you had to develop any skills whatsoever, These are the ones I would advise you to do. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. So if you've been around here for any length of time, you know I'm all about stopping the scroll on social media. There is, there are so many posts out there that it's easy for your content to get lost in the shuffle. As a matter of fact, people refer to social media as the beast and the beast is always hungry. So they say feed the beast. So people create all sorts of content so that they stay relevant and in front of their target audience. But once they create the content, they got a lot of work to do. And that includes stopping the scroll. And the first way that you will ever stop the scroll is literally by the graphics that you use. And that's our first skill we're going to take a look at today. So I firmly believe good graphics or fantastic graphics is the start to stopping the scroll because it's the first thing you see on your social media feed. So three, I guess, sub skills that you could start working on in the graphics category would be to learn how to contrast fonts. So by contrasting fonts, what I mean by that is using a very clean set of fonts paired with something a little bit more fancier. So think of something like block letters kind of um, paired with a script or a handwriting font. Learning how to pair those together makes your graphic that much more interesting. It makes people stop for a second and every nanosecond that somebody stops is really important on social media. It's what the algorithms do to measure if people are interested in your graphics is they measure to see how long somebody has kind of lingered on your post. So if you can keep it interesting with contrasting fonts, that's a great step in the right direction. The second thing you want to do is make sure that your graphic is balanced. You're going to learn and research how to balance graphics, maybe how to center things, how to line things up so it's pleasing to the eye. And the third thing in the graphics category that you can really work on our colors, knowing how to match up colors, how to make them complementary to each other. So those three things are three skills that you can easily develop. So I'm going to be a little real with you right now. I'm not a graphic designer, nor would I ever claim to be a graphic designer. I actually think graphic designers are amazing humans because the creativity they have and the way they can put together graphics and colors and fonts and all of those things, it just amazes me. But I will tell you, I use tools to help me develop graphic design skills. And the tools I use, well, actually the tool I use is Canva. I love Canva because 
it does train you a little bit. If you go through the Canva program, you will see there are loads of templates that you can use. And it kind of is a no fail way to set up your graphics for social media. But as you work with these templates over and over again, you start to pick up on things. You start to figure out how they balance things and what looks good in a template versus what doesn't. And the more that you play with those templates and move things around and really focus on how they've set those templates up, you begin to learn these skills that a graphic designer has. The other thing you can do in this area is go to YouTube. There are so many amazing videos out there about Canva that teaches you all of these things that can help you create really stunning graphics for your social media accounts. The second skill you are really going to want to focus on is copywriting. Once you've stopped the scroll with these amazing graphics that you've created, now you got to keep your audience interested. And if you've been around here for a hot minute or so, you know my favorite thing is the first seven words of any social media caption. And if you're new here, you're probably scratching your head saying, what the heck is she talking about? It is my theory that the first seven words you present to your audience will make or break your social media post. It will mean the difference between the person scrolling on by or hanging out to read what you have to say. So copywriting is learning how to create those hooks, which is essentially the first seven words that I'm talking about. A couple of other things that you are going to want to focus on when creating copy for your captions is knowing how to create cliffhangers and creating cliffhangers keeps people interested in reading more. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is learn how to create FOMO that fear of missing out or a sense of urgency. And then the icing on the cake is CTAs or calls to actions. All of those things working together in your copywriting skills will really help you win with your audience. Now you might be sitting there saying, well, I failed English in high school or I could not write a really good paper or essay in college, how the heck am I ever going to develop this skill of copywriting? There are so many talented copywriters on Instagram. Go ahead and search for them. Just in the search bar of Instagram, search for copywriters and a slew of people will come up and pick a couple to follow and learn from. They teach this stuff and they're so clever and so interesting when it comes to copywriting. Just being around those people, you'll just begin to pick up their skills and the things that they're trying to teach you about writing for your audience and your target market. It is the best thing you could do for your social media account is to follow these people, engage with them and learn from them. Now I told you there were three areas or three skills that I would focus on if I was just starting out in social media that I thought were really important. We covered graphics, we covered copywriting. The third skill you really want to work on are, is analytics. Analytics hold the key to what's working on your account. So if you can train your eyes to be a little bit more critical and go to your insights and take a look at what's working on your account, what's not working on your account, how to spot trends, all of this stuff is gonna help you create better content and content that your audience wants to consume. Now, I know this sounds like a lot, especially if none of these things are in your wheelhouse, but remember what I said at the beginning, these are skills. These are things that you can learn and to, and develop and get better at. But if you're kind of, well, I don't have the time to do all this stuff. The good news is you can hire somebody to create your graphics for you. You can hire somebody to write your copy for you, and you can hire somebody to do an analytical study on your social media accounts. So it's not like you're flying solo. You can hire these people to help you out. Now, if you're thinking you don't have the budget for three more people on your team, I get it. You can find social media managers who have all three qualities. And I truly believe a good social media manager 
will be able to do all three. They'll be able to create amazing graphics for you. They will be able to create amazing copy and they'll have that critical analytical eye to know what's working for your account and what's not. So if you are looking to hire a social media manager, that's what you're gonna ask them in your interview. You're gonna ask them how confident they are with graphics, ask to see some of their examples, also do the same thing with copywriting, and then ask them how they analyze social media accounts to know what's working, what's not, and where they need to improve on the account. Okay, my friends, well, that does it for this episode. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you now know where to go and how to develop your skills in graphics, copywriting, and analytics. If you have questions, as always, go ahead and pop them into the comment section or go ahead and shoot me a DM on any of the socials and I would be happy to answer your questions for you. All right, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay social. Hey there, I just wanna say thank you for spending time with me here today. I know your time is super valuable, which is why I am dedicated to providing lots of usable, actionable information in the shortest amount of time possible. Before you go, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future episode. And if you have ideas or topics you would like me to cover in an upcoming show, let me know about it in the comment section provided. 